Now here's the deal. Are you guys excited for the new Call of Duty? I can't hear you. Come on, let's get it a little bit louder. Are you guys excited for the next Call of Duty? I can't hear you. Call of Duty, a world-renowned franchise now owned by the development killing Microsoft. Oh, Microsoft Sea of Thieves nuts can fit in your mouth. Now, if you haven't heard the news, Microsoft recently shut down Tango Gameworks, one of my favorite developers in the business. I'm not happy about that. And sadly, they now own Activision, because now they're making the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Rumored title, at least. It's not been con I Actually, no, it was confirmed the other day. Correction! Black Ops 6 is the title. I guess. Maybe. I'm going to confirm that in a second. Let me do some Googling real quick. Confirmed, it's called Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Let's go. So here's the deal. Black Ops 6 has a lot of potential to be one of the best Call of Duties in the franchise history. And I really believe this. But let me tell you why. Because Black Ops 6 is a sequel to Cold War. Now a lot of people didn't like Cold War, but I thought Cold War was one of the best Call of Duties in years. And what I mean by that is the campaign was fucking spectacular. Genuinely, one of the most passionate, incredible spy thriller stories you could ever have. The black operations the series is known for were best used in Black Ops Cold War. I even think the campaign somewhat tops Black Ops 1. That's a very bold claim, I know. Now, I don't think it tops Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 has the villain of Raul Menendez, one of the greatest video game villains of all time, in my personal opinion. And I believe, truly, if Black Ops 6 continues to bring the torch, to bear the torch that Cold War continued to have, we have a potential for one of the best Call of Duty games in years, and I hope I'm right. Now, the rumors are a little bit concerning to me. The rumors say it's going to be an open-world Call of Duty game. That is actually concerning to me, because uh, the past few open-world shooter games I've played have been fucking terrible. Now, I love Halo Infinite's multiplayer, but I hate its campaign. Halo Infinite had a very disappointing campaign to me, and the main reason it was disappointing was because of its god-awful open world, and I, I put that in quotation marks, because it's not really an open world. It's just a slapdash approach to level design. We have a giant open-ended map with nothing to do, except for very bare bones, somewhat linear, but kind of open-ended missions that are, that are d directionless and not choreographed, like the previous Halo games. That concerns me, because I played, I, another example of actually a game that did this was the previous Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, with its open combat missions, wherever the fuck that means where you essentially go onto a war zone map and push buttons and just do random bullshit that doesn't matter i don't want that to happen i want real true missions i want great level design i want great combat the combat in both those games were spectacular but the level design was not so much i hope black ops cold war part two whatever it's called i mean it's black ops 6 i don't know why i keep on not calling it black ops 6 this is black ops 6 christian Get together, my guy! Now, you may have noticed as of late, my recent videos have been actually color graded in black and white. There's a good reason for that. I noticed that not a lot of creators make their videos in black and white. And I want to change that, because I think the black and white is sick looks kind of fucking sick. And we should make this a standard on the channel. So guess what, gamers? We're going noir. It's Chris Trombot Noir, baby! So if you guys enjoy this black and white aesthetic, click that subscribe button. Also in black and white. And get ready for the new era of Chris Strongbot. Thank you all for watching, and gamers, rise up.